Hey guys, and welcome to my first uh, live broadcast. I'm just going to do this. You guys, if you guys have any questions during the video, be sure to leave that down in the comment section down below or in the chat box. That would be very helpful. So let's get started, and we're today we're going to be programming um, a how to calculate the dog years with Swift and Xcode. So this is actually a popular uh, Objective-C tutorial that was done by people on Udemy, so I just decided to do this on Swift with Xcode. So let's go ahead and go into Xcode 6. Let's create a new Xcode project, and here we're going to make it a single-view application. Our product name, I'm just going to call mine dog years, and next, and create. And now let's go ahead and go into our main.storyboard. So let's go into our view controller. And lately, they've actually fixed the size thing. So when before, when you used to uh, put stuff onto the main.storyboard, that's why I never use storyboards, really. So when you put stuff on the storyboard, then it would be like it would be on the wrong in the wrong place on the view controller. But now they fixed that, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the storyboard this time. So let's go ahead, fix the size, and the size we're just going to make it an iPhone 4 inch, and that is in our attributes inspector. And the way to do that is just to click on this top bar up here. So just click on this top bar, make it highlighted blue, and change the size to an iPhone 4 inch. All right, now let's go ahead and change the orientation to portrait. It was already portrait, but now this is going to make sure that it will always be portrait. All right, now let's go ahead and click and drag a label onto our scene. And this label is just going to be a, a label saying number of years. And this will always stay the same, so we don't really need to do much to that. Now this other label, this will be actually be go right underneath that number of years, and this will be the number of dog years. So let's go ahead and change the label and make sure it's centered. And then we're going to make the label just a bunch of in integers, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and so on. All right, now let's go ahead and add a button on here. And this button will be calculate. Calculate. And lastly, we want to add another label. And this label, I'm sorry, we don't want to add a label. We want to add a text field. So let's go ahead, scroll down, and grab a text field right down here. So click and drag that and just put it in the center of our scene. And click and drag that all the way out to the edges. And now another thing we can do is we can actually change the keyboard type that appears when this is cli clicked on. So let's go ahead and go into our attributes inspector. And right down here it says keyboard type, and we're going to make it a number pad. All right, now let's go ahead and I'm going to raise this up a little bit just in case the number pad comes over it a little bit. All right, so now let's go into our view controller dot Swift. Actually, we want to go back to our main dot storyboard, and here we're going to open up our assistant editor, and we're going to change this instead of view controller dot Swift. We want to change it to. I'm sorry. What am I saying? We got <laughs> first. We need to right click and drag from our zeros or you can go control click drag over to our if swift view controller right over here so control click drag over to the scene and this name we're just going to call this uh, dog years label all right now connect it and now let's go ahead and click and drag our button and we're just going to put it down here and this time our connection, we're going to change the connection to an action. And our name, I'm just going to call this calculate. All right, now lastly, we want to click and drag from our text field over up to our view controller.swift again. And we're going to make another outlet. And our name will just be text field and connect. All right, now let's go ahead and go into our view controller.swift and close our assistant editor. And first thing we want to do is go into our calculate right down here and we want to say text field dot text I'm sorry, we don't want to say that. We first we want to go up here and we want to create a variable. And this variable will be, the, will be the dog years. So it's just say var dog years 
years equals zero. So it's just going to be automatically set to zero when the scene loads. And then we want our calculate to change that. So let's go ahead and say dog years equals text field dot text dot to int and then exclamation point and then multiplied by seven so we can calculate the dog years. All right, now let's go ahead and change our label. So say dog years label dot text equals dog years. Exactly like that. I'm sorry, dog years dot description. Exactly like that. Now let's go ahead and build and run this and see what happens. All right, so I click on this, and as you can see, when you click one, two, three, or something like that, then you just calculate it, multiplies it by seven, and that's 861. Or you can just go simpler and just go one and see that it is seven. All right, so that's basically how you do a dog years. I'm going to show you how to change a couple integers down here. So basically, this seven right here is what calculates the dog years. So if you want to change that seven, that's going to change the amount of dog years that comes in. So let's just say multiply by four. So then you build and run that. And then you just go uh, one, two, three, calculate, then it only multiplies by four. Or one. Calculate multiplies by four. So basically that's how you do a dog years type of application with Swift and Xcode. Uh, thank you guys for joining me, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.